DJI Mini SE, one of the most affordable and compact drones from DJI company. Let's review this. What's good guys, my name is Oleg Nikitin from Russia with love, you're watching No Limits on channel. And I brought DJI Mini SE to Turkey to my vacations, yeah, I'm working on my vacations as well, and tested out this drone right there. So let's go. Let's start off with the size and weight of this drone. It's a tiny, tiny little machine, as you can see. And this drone weighs only 249 grams, it means that you don't have to register this drone in most of the countries. And it comes in this box if you buy Flymore Combo. This box contains, or this bag contains uh, two more uh, batteries, also the special charger for all three batteries and it can work as a power bank as well. And also you get the remote control, all the extra propellers, extra sticks, uh, a little screwdriver even, and this whole case weighs a little bit over one kilogram which is great for you guys who are traveling a lot and i really enjoyed using this drone in my travel in turkey because it took almost no space in my bag and almost no extra weight as well so a big thumbs up for this drone for size and weight why do you even need a screwdriver because this drone has little screws right here where the propellers are and you adjust the strength and the tightness tightness, how do you say, tightness of the screws on the propellers and when I bought it, actually I took it from a company that lent me for the review this drone and I had to unscrew a little bit one of the screws because it was too tight. So that is why you have a screwdriver inside. And now let's talk about the flying capabilities, the activity of this drone while it's in the air. It holds the wind pretty straightforward and, um, you know, it's pretty stable actually. It wasn't that windy, like 8 meters a second wind, but it handled everything that was in Turkey pretty good. Also, the cinematic mode is very, very smooth and I was able to fly uh, you know, through some small objects like under the bridge or through different, uh, you know, sun shields and all that stuff. And the sports mode is very fast and it becomes like a little, you know, stinging bee that flies around and sounding like... And the propellers sound okay. It's a little itchy and eerie, um, but I can say that it's okay and if you fly like uh, up to 25 maybe 50 meters you cannot almost hear this drone which is nice the video quality yeah this drone has only 2.7k video up to 30 frames per second i have a separate comparison of this drone the mini se with the mavic 2 pro which is 1000 dollars more expensive and actually i've asked my subscribers in instagram which drone is which and only 60 percent of my subscribers said that the mavic 2 pro is a mavic 2 pro and basically more expensive drone that is why this picture quality is pretty okay for your social media, for your, you know, vacation trips, for your family stuff, and even a little bit for some commercial things, if it's not like a, you know, Michael Bay movie, it's pretty okay. You can have a look at the footage, and if you set the white balance correctly, you get a very nice picture quality, by the way. The picture quality in terms of stills is okay. It has 12 megapixel sensor, almost the same size as we have in our smartphones right now, and the same resolution. 12 megapixel is the most popular resolution in the smartphone. And also, the photos are okay, kind of if you were taking your iPhone to the air and taking a picture. Yeah, maybe like iPhone 8 or maybe iPhone 10, I don't know. And um, yeah, basically it's okay for your Instagram, for your Facebook pictures and uh, for your family ar archive. Archive. <laughs> archive. As I said before, there is no picture profiles, so you kind of have baked in look in terms of video and also you don't have raw photos in here, so it's kind of more towards amateurs. Low light performance. I'd say this drone is good during the daylight, but when it comes to low light, you better not use it. ISO 100 is okay, and on this shot you can see that it has 1 over 50 shutter and ISO 100, and it's kind of limit of this drone. You can uh, up the ISO up to 200 probably, but uh, further I wouldn't suggest. Of course, this drone has no sensors or obstacle avoidance, only on the bottom we have some sensors for landing and also those sensors work when you fly 
uh, kind of across a little object too low to the ground and you can see that I was flying uh, you know above a bush and the drone did like whoa raised a little bit also it works when you land in you can put a hand like so and the drone will define your hand and land correctly be careful with catching a drone with your hand guys the real flight time is really good I was using it on the beach and uh, when I came to the beach and uh, was starting to fly a drone I shot uh, a little boat, I shot the pyre, I flew under this pyre, I shot some, you know, um, sun, how do you call those, sun protecting covered things, I forgot the word, write down in the comment section below how do you call those things that protect you from the sun when you're laying on the beach. A bitch <laughs> and uh, yeah after all that I did all the smart modes the intelligent flight modes like Joni, Rocket, um, Circle and all that stuff took a couple of pictures and I was flying all over the beach and shot a hotel as well and uh, I had 25% left so it means that if you have the fly more combo with three batteries that you'll be able to shoot throughout the whole day and kind of on I don't know five or six locations and have a lot of footage after it which is great I really enjoy the flight time of this little baby also because this drone is that compact you almost always want to fly through some little objects or under the bridge or through the bushes and all that stuff because it's that tiny and pretty stable in the air in the cinematic mode especially I was able to get some cool shots I guess and uh, yeah if you want to kind of be nervous a little bit when you're flying a drone this is a great thing when you're flying through objects you have a drone a rocket kind of a spiral uh, i forgot the name of it i guess it's spiral and circle uh, they're okay but the spiral has some jerkiness in the footage as you can see right now the rocket and the drone is okay and also you don't have active track here but you can kind of fake an active track because you can make it to fly a circle to the same side that you are going and for like 10 or 15 seconds it will be looking like it's an active track I think it will be especially good when you're using it with some faster objects like cars because I was moving not that fast and it kind of uh, made a circle around me very fast but if you're moving pretty fast like on a motorcycle or a car it won't be able to kind of keep up with you and it'll be looking like active track more and now the most interesting part which is the remote control and the strength of your remote signal so the remote control is made out of plastic it kind of looks like DJI Mavic's uh, you know without a screen uh, little uh, remote control and uh, it has detachable sticks which is nice also the home button the power button the photo button the record button and the gimbal adjustment wheel and this is it it's very compact and very lightweight which is good for this little drone because the whole compactness of this kit is great uh, for instance the Mavic Mini 2 has a bigger remote for better signal but it's overall bulkier and it's kind of you know the same size as an unfolded drone like this size which is weird a little bit and now the signal strength the signal strength is really weak guys 500 meters is kind of the limit for this drone in my opinion in my case because it was losing the video signal a lot it was stuttering it was not comfortable to use at all and from time to time i was losing the signal at all and only you know uh, go back return to home function saved this drone from disappearing somewhere in the mediterranean sea also when you're flying kind of a little closer like 20 meters high and 100 meters away from you it can start having some problems with the video signal and all in all you have to have some pretty strong nerves to be operating this drone properly and uh, if you're not that kind of person this drone is not for you or if you need something like one or two kilometers of reach with stable signal this drone unfortunately is also not for you it's a pity to say but it is what it is also this drone doesn't have internal memory you'd simply insert your micro sd card right here from the back it doesn't even have a cover we have a little light right here also the little door for your battery and the usb-c port which is used to charge the battery itself which is nice and now about the price of the dji mini se it costs only 350 dollars which is a great price in my opinion for the base kit 
and a little price here like around $500 for your fly more combo maybe even less which is a good price in my opinion because the mini 2 by itself the base kit costs almost the same as this fly more combo which is cool so pretty good price guys and if we consider this it's a chinese company of course dji is a chinese company and but we uh, compare it to the chinese drones like no name companies for a little less like 50 dollars less than this drone you'll definitely want to pick this one up because it's a much more stable, much better drone in terms of picture quality and overall a better machine in my opinion. So guys, this is my review of the DJI Mini SE and let's conclude. This is a great, very affordable, small and compact drone, kind of a selfie drone, let me say. And if you are okay with 2.7K instead of a 4K, which is in that video I showed that it's not that huge of a difference and you want a small and compact drone for your travel things, for your family, archive, for your Instagram and all that stuff, this little beauty is pretty okay guys. And I do recommend using this drone if you're just starting out, if you're an amateur or you just want a very compact, the most compact drone kit available from DJI right now on the market for the best price. So guys, if you did enjoy this video, please smash the like and subscribe buttons as I say in my videos and hit the notifications bell as well. And please tell me guys, what do you think of the DJI Mini SE? Is it worth it? Is it better to buy the Mini 2 or maybe some other brands? All your thoughts in the comment section below. My name is Alek Nikitin, you've been watching No Limits On channel and I see you guys in the next video. Take care, bye.